Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you get to see my lips up close and personal for a whole 10 or so minutes. You're welcome. Is this the destiny holder or recipe holder? I don't know what they call you. Today, I'm going to be sharing every lip color that Embriche has put out to the public. So get ready for these lip swatches. I'm trying to get ready over here with some Vaseline. Okay, girl, let's go. I have so many. I got gifted their whole line maybe like a year ago now, and I was cleaning out, doing a deep clean girl, doing that deep spring clean of my apartment including my makeup area i refound all of these because it was just so many lip colors i didn't know what to do with them they were all still in their boxes it was a lot and i was unboxing all of them and lo and behold they are just so beautiful i had to share so we've got some glosses we've got some nudes we've got some pinkies and then we've got some purples and some reds and i'm so excited let's get into this oh one more thing before we do make sure you are subscribed make sure that you like this video at the end of watching it comment down below what was your favorite shade comment down below your favorite type of liquid lipsticks share this video with anyone that you think would love it and my channel I am trying to get monetized I'm almost there and when I am monetized by your guys's help I will be having a grand giveaway two people will be winning a lump sum of money because your girl likes to give back so please help me get monetized get up in there do what needs to be done make sure you are following my instagrams i am the destiny holder on instagram i also post food as you guys know at the recipe holder and now i have a podcast and a talk show as well so i started an instagram for her let's talk uncut make sure you guys are following those and let's get to it so first thing to know about all of these liquid lips they smell so fantastic i know when like kylie's lips first came out and they smelled really good and that was like just the first note everyone made about them and breeze these smell so freaking good i can't get over it so let's start off with the three top Boss glosses. First up, we have Embriche's Top Boss Gloss in Power Play. She's looking nudie. She's looking like a pale pink. She's looking a little scary for my melanated queen. So let's see what's going on in here. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, that's that's sexy. So this is Power Play. She's actually really cute on. She just looks like a more everyday, normal, clearish gloss. So not too scary. I would say if you have a darker skin toned lip, because I know my mom tried this on and it looked a little scary. It looked a little paler on her. Then I would watch out. But I enjoy this. This is cute. This is something that I can throw into my bag for an everyday wear. I also think this is a color that if you're wearing an actual lip color, if you put this on it would also brighten it a little bit since it does have that paler tone behind it next up we've got shock collar she is a gorgeous golden goddess type vibe she is giving me all the luscious opulence okay this one is so pretty this is a go-to for sure i just everything about this it's so freaking pretty it's not too yellow either it's just it's perfect. Last for the glosses, we've got Hustle, okay? She is super cute. She's got a little bit of gold reflex in there as well. I beg to differ. It is so pretty. It has such a really gorgeous, like, pinky purple tone to it. This is hypnotizing. I love this color. It's completely different than the gold one. It's just in the bottle. It doesn't seem like it has this many colors in it, but it is so so pretty on the lip okay on to our next category which is going to be the nudes so these are all their 24 karat lips which are supposed to be long lasting liquid matte lipsticks which i can tell you they are very long lasting and they are very 
matte. So you want to prime and prep your lips to moisture sensation before applying these lips, but they are absolutely amazing. They definitely are transfer proof, kiss proof, all of that. For the longest time, I was using a certain color of Ambrisha's 24 karat lip as a nude matte lip, and it just, it does not budge once it's on. So first we have Naked Dreams. Okay, so one, this is way, 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 way too light for me, but as it dries down, it actually gives a really nice nudie pink. So I think it's too light for me if I don't apply a lip liner. I think if I found a really good lip liner to go with this look, it would look great because honestly, they kind of Yeah, I actually kind of like it. My my opinion changed within three seconds as I was looking in the viewfinder, but <laughs> this definitely needs a lip liner. That's what I'll say about it. Also, I forgot how velvety soft these lips are. They feel so good when you are applying them. Mm. Actually, ooh, my teeth look white with it. Actually, I'm really not mad at it at all. What was I thinking at first? I just needed it to dry down and it looks really good. I just need a lip liner. Next, Hey Doll. So this one I also didn't really like when I was applying it. I was like, ooh, yikes, this isn't happening. It reminded me of early Nicki Minaj era days. But again, once it's dried down, I'm really digging it. I need to find lip liners, you guys. That is my next step. Also, I really felt like it came out a lot lighter than it looks in the bottle. But once it dries down, the bottle doesn't lie. Next, Champagne Nights. I feel like this is going to be a really nice nude, a very warm toned nude. This one, I was so right. The color gave exactly what it's showing in the bottle. It is a very, very warm toned, perfect nude. Again, this is going to need a lip liner for sure, but I'm not mad at it. I would not give away this color. I really like it. Fall Back. I think this is a great name for this color because it definitely screams fall at me. I love this one. This is so pretty. This is something I have not had in my makeup collection before. I have bright reddish oranges, which I absolutely love and die for. So this is a different like tone. It's a little... It's a little, I don't know, faded down, a little more pastel, a little more chilled out type of orange. It's just so gorgeous. I think this looks great for spring and fall, but girl, the amount of times I'm about to put this color on in the fall, y'all better get ready. Tan lines. This is the color that I've always worn before as a nude. It's kind of a bright version of my perfect nude, I think. And still, honestly, I just need to go shopping for lip liners because I think it just amplifies a lip up, right? And like the lip color and just like your lips in general makes them look like an actual art piece, even though they already are. You guys know what I'm saying. We approve, we approve so hard. We approve of Miss Tan Lines. Miss Tan Lines will stay forever. Oh, I just love her. She just makes my lips look like Okay, next we have hashtag come get me. This one's kind of saucy. I have never ever been into the faded purple gray lip type of look, literally ever. But now that I have one in my collection, I can understand the hype. I'm not mad at her. Last for the nude section, I'm going in with Say Yes. This one has a little bit of a brighter purple within it than the last one. Very similar to the last one, but also a little bit more wearable. I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. And it came out of the tube a little bit warmer than it looks in the tube. This looks very, very pale purple gray. And this looks very not as extreme okay let's get into these pinks and fuchsias i'm feeling like i'm starting to look like mike wazowski when he's getting his lips sucked in that vacuum i also feel like everyone's trying to look like that these days so i mean it's fine <laughs> okay first up vita okay guys miss vita is 
definitely a favorite. I'm obsessed with this lip. I thought it was going to be a little bit more nudie than vibrant, but it is so gorgeous. I think it looks amazing on my skin tone. She is rich. It's stunning. This lip is so pretty and you have to love a pink lip that doesn't make your teeth look more yellow than they are. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Living lavish. Uh-huh. Yep. She's basically my favorite color in a lip. She's giving lilac. I've never thought about wearing my literal favorite color in the world on my lips. So I'm obsessed with the color, but I'm not obsessed with it on me and my skin tone. But it is really gorgeous. I feel like maybe with the right like outfit and makeup look and lip liner, this would be very wearable within spring and summertime. Next, Cupcakin. She's cute. Cupcakin is cute. She is, she's super cute. That's all I can say. She's a lot brighter than Vita. She is giving a lot. She's giving a little bit more yellow teeth than Vita, but I, I love. Next, we've got Dusk Till Dawn. I really dig Dusk Till Dawn. She is giving me all the pink fuchsia and purple vibes in one. I really like her. She's a little different from anything I've also had in my makeup collection. So I will be grabbing for this one a lot as well. Next up, Power Trip with two piece. This one's super pretty. The last three that I've tried are all just giving each other a run for their money. I really enjoy this one. They're all pretty similar, so I'm actually really happy that I'm doing this video for myself, okay? Because next time I want to go up in to these Ambrish lips and pick a color for my makeup, I have a whole video that shows me exactly what each color looks like. <laughs> God, I'm so good. I'd be lying if I said my lips weren't starting to go numb. Next we have Pick Me Up. Pick Me Up is a true fuchsia. She is the most cool toned pink I've noticed within the 24 karat lip collection. She is gorgeous, hands down. She is so freaking pretty. Lastly, for this pink category, we've got C-O-E-O. 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 I don't know what this one means, but she's looking cute, so let's see what she looks like on her lips. She is so pretty. She's definitely the deepest of pinks that they have, and it is so gorgeous. She looks like a nighttime pink, okay? A daytime pink as well. I just, I mean, like, pop off. With all of these pinks in my collection, I just feel like I need a lump sum of bright blazer sets. Like, I need to now go work in an office where I can pull off a super cute, strong pink lip every day. I'm talking Dynasty vibes. I'm talking gossip girl Taraji P. Henson. Oh, we can't forget about my girl Gabrielle Union as well. In her show on Netflix where she's like a newscaster woman, she'd be having the fits as well. Boss woman vibes. You got the gist. Okay guys, we are on to our last category of the video and that's going to be some more orangey toned pinks in there with some deep reds. I'm super excited. So let's go in with peach Please, this is a super cute name. Ugh, come on now. Come on. You guys, this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. I can't get over it. I wish I took this color out when I did my peachy makeup tutorial. I will link it up here. Oh, it just keeps getting better every time I look at the viewfinder or mirror. It just looks, it's so pretty. Peach, please. Go get you some. Next, Bar Bay. This is definitely named correctly. This is a Barbie pink. It's not too bright though. This is very wearable. So I'm surprised and I absolutely love it. I didn't realize that we were not done with the pinks, y'all. Again, there are so many pinks in this collection. I promise if you go try them out, you might find your favorite pink color for your skin tone within Embriche. Amani Rose. That's actually a really pretty name. Amani Rose. That is such a pretty name. This one came out unexpectedly likable to me. I looked at this, took a look at this, and was like, mm, this is gonna be okay, but I actually really really enjoy this color on my lips. This is definitely a color I can see myself using a lot, kind of as a everyday toned down pink. I really like her. Next up, we have Dahlia. This one's a little brighter than the last one. It's like, uh, mm, 
whoa i just had a i don't know what just happened but we're gonna keep going this one <laughs> seems a little brighter but it's a little darker than the last one they're like sisters it's gorgeous though i really really dig it matches my top perfectly it's a definite yes for me next up we have the hottest pink in the collection I'm a little frightened but i'm a little excited this one is passion fruit oh yeah she is hot she is spicy you can spot her from a mile away i can't even there are so many pinks in this collection i'm just wow 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 i love this color there's not much else to say oh my gosh we are at the home stretch which is kind of not exciting because we're starting to run out of colors but it's very exciting for my lips today you guys let's go in with troublesome okay this one's a little brighter than she looks she's super cute she applied beautifully so i stand she's giving me vampire Mm. actually it's not too hard for me to find a red lip that i like i think my skin tone looks great in a red it's a maroon that's kind of hard like a dark red and i'm loving this color this is just juicy this is i'm feeling seductive i need to i need to take this off before i get dangerous all right you guys last of the whole collection own it okay you guys this last lip is deep and dark and i'm digging it she is a true wine this lip is so gorgeous it's so classy i mm. 24 lips and three makeup wipes later we are at the end of this lip swatch video i'm currently wearing dahlia and the top boss gloss hustle on top as a finishing color because i still have some things to do today um i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i really enjoyed this video my lips not so much but now i know exactly what every color looks like on my face so i can literally use my own video as reference thank you for writing with me till the end of this video much love and much appreciation don't forget to subscribe i love you guys see you later bye